This looks a little something like uh, Peric's lower unit after the Never Stop Tour 1. Speaking of which, if you're watching this right now, this is probably the end of our Never Stop Tour. I would guess that we're probably somewhere in uh, Baja, California, fishing for some uh, some pretty big saltwater species, but that's for a different video. We are still up north with this freaking dude right here. Oh, there he is. Spencer Stamplowski spotted. Yikes. Wow. You need some sun. Not, uh, not only is he a fantastic guide, but he has an amazing taste in fashion, flip-flops and the joggers. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get after today. I just wanna show you guys this because that's crazy. Could you imagine having a boat and that being your problem? Pretty insane. Actually, Peric's lower unit looked worse than that. Not. But anyway, so today's mission is going to be catch big fish, right? We're going after that big smallmouth. Yesterday we got in the swing of things. I kind of got in the groove of fishing for these clear water northern smallmouth, which can be tricky. But we are in the land of megas. We are in the land of the biggest smallmouth ever. Like if you want to go catch big smallmouth, this is the place to go. So the boat is about to be backed in and we are about to hit it. So stick with it, stay tuned. And let's go get some bites. We're on the drink, getting her done. Not as many boats out this morning as there was this afternoon, or yesterday afternoon, I should say. Going fish slow for something big. Feeling confident. It feels like January. Up. Up. I don't know. Nope, not a little one. Interesting. Huh. Ooh, he's super dark. Yet another fat little bowling ball. What in the world were you eating down there? How did you get so fat and voluptuous? This one's very dark. I know it's cliche to talk about the colors of the fish, but really, truly, each small one is unique in its own little way. Different patterns, different colors. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. You're not net worthy though. We need some net worthy fish. Yep. yep. Big? Here I come. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, oh, that's a micro fish, yep. That's just tiny. You know what I did there? Crazy, what'd you do, stop it? Cast it right to where you just had a bite. Oh, yeah, literally. Yeah, I noticed. Look at the chunker on that one. God, look at the dumper on that fish, wow. What do you think's in there? Marshmallows? Um, Cupcakes? Yeah, I don't know. Little bass, probably, hey? Yeah, little future uh, lunkers. Cool Damn, dude, that fish is orange. Yeah, that's what the hell, it's like red. Cool. You reckon she goes, like, just, just shy of four? Oh, yeah, wow. Boop, 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 boop. Look at the belly on that thing. So cool. John just missed one, too. Actually, we got something going. This spot's sick, dude. So if they're in here, it's game on. It's a, it's Another one. Yeah. Pop me off. I'm glad you. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. I love this. This is fun. It's little swim baits. Yes. I'm gonna... Let me know what if you want me to. We're small. We're small. My very next cast. Got another one. He choked that thing too. Wow. So my very next cast, this one, John caught one, his very next cast, it would not surprise me as I'm talking, John gets one right now. What happens with these fish, they're very schooly this time of year, meaning we had a wind that's kind of northeast here blowing into this spot. And I said to the boys last night, I said, this spot's gonna fire up tomorrow morning with that wind. And 
sure enough what happens, these fish just kind of piled in here. I know they're not like super, super giants, but there are fish in your jaws. That's, That's a big one, I think. I'm gonna put this one back. No, not that big, but it's a fish. Wow, it's really bitey right now, you guys. Really bitey. I will net that one, yes? No, I got it. Just keep casting. There's so many fish out there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Butterball, come here, butterball. Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, I think we've stumbled upon quite the wolf pack of smallmouth. Yo, this is sick. Even like, even like these little like freaking high twos, low threes, when they run together and you just keep banging them on ultralight setups, it feels so sweet. And the baits are throwing are so small. It's light gear, it's light line, it's many lures, and it's big old brown bass, baby. Whew. Here she goes. Boom, boom, boom. All right, I'm gonna get another. Let's go. Spread the love. Spread the eagle. Spread the eagle? Yeah, spread the eagle. Spread the eagle on the wings. Another one? How's it feel? I'm gonna grab the nut. Oh god. Oh god. What's happening here? Oh, nice one. Little football. Freaking foosball. Oh, that's a better one. Before that gets messy. There you go. Another one. Another little football. Just a little butter. Look at that thing. I, I think it's safe to say we are on the pre spawn pattern yeah. here. The most important thing to this bite is wind and water temperature. And we have both of those in our favor right now. So the first spot I fished this morning, we had 47 degree water. We're up to almost 50 on this spot. I literally drove 300 yards away and water's warmer, fish are happier. Wind's blowing in here a lot better. So slide her back, look at the belly again. See you later, bud. We'll make some babies. Just because I'm using your baits doesn't mean you can eat my chips. Here, give me some of this. This right here is the answer when you're out in the water. Can I show this to the camera? Is this like allowed? Is this like top secret type stuff? Like you don't want people to know about this. So, as you guys have seen today, we've had a much better AM than we did yesterday AM. Um, I think all together we've already caught more fish today than we did uh, previously in the last video. But what we still have not found yet is where, where the big blue goat lives. That's oh, hard sure. to say. I'll eat the whole, I thought you were just giving this to me, right? It's mine. Yeah, yeah I know. What's Take this deal? my son today. Yep. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a few scoops of guac with the blue red hots, and hopefully that gives me the dynamite I need to explode on a monster. Oh man. Good selection or what? Rocking. Yeah. Here, get you some of these. That's a nice one. Uh, just net it, maybe. Maybe we'll just net it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, God. Bless it. In the nut. <laughs> Sweet. Finally, one that was over a quarter pound. Very nice fish. Yeah. Probably maybe four pounds. Swim bait, gone. See you later. What's so crazy to me is like the baits that we throw out here in the bay um, are stuff that you would probably throw for crappie in Texas. Yeah. So a lot of Southern guys are probably thinking, what the hell is going on with these dudes throwing little tiny um, drop shot worms and micro swim baits? But it's what gets the job done. Oh my gosh, that's, a, that's my biggest of the day. No doubt about it. Just out of curiosity, actually the scale's not out, is it? Yeah, Just out of curiosity, yeah. I'm gonna dip it real quick. Okay. So deceiving, like a fish like this could weigh like just over four pounds. What do we got? Nope, not even freaking close. Three nine, three nine nine, four, three nine nine, four, <laughs> three, nine. four, three eight. It's like a four pounder. Yeah, it's like a four pounder. Nice. Just, Did you get fish of the trip? Um, probably, yeah. Nice, fat, healthy fish. Oh, look at it.
kicked and she is gone. Swimming the bait. I love it. Golly. What's so funny is the water is actually warmer than the air temp right now. I'm freezing my butt off. But I got a little warm after that fish. Hey, that's good. That was like your second or third cast after, after you put the swimming down. Yeah. It's definitely a nice healthy balance between yeah. two Lots different tactics. Different yeah. yeah. That's yeah. good. We're doing we're doing really good today. I was out front again. That's big. Sure. Not? Yeah, that's a nice one. Jumped right in the net, unbelievable. That was so cool. That is just the coolest thing. Fish jumps literally into the net. Dude, that is a toad. That's a big five, I guess. I think it's five. Yeah, I think so too. Oh. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. This one right here? Yeah, turn it on. Scale on. Four, Drum five, roll, eight, please. Four, five, six. I would say we're rocking four, five, eight. Sweet. That's the biggest of the day, undoubtedly. Nice. Now let's go crush it. Cool. Just another football though, hey? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We've done that so many times. It, you're just poke a small off the belly. Just, just poke it. This one's actually pretty soft, meaning she's probably ready to dump pretty quick here, so. Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh, it's off in a walleye. You've got to be kidding me. It's a big walleye. It's a big one, dude. Should I grab him? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> What's next, a burbot? It's not that big, but he's, dude, he's fighting hard. Way harder than the one yesterday. Oh my god, he swallowed it. It's gone. There's no swim bait. I think I'm going to need a new Kytec after this. Really? Another one? Yeah, you think? Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, like yeah. it's gone. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, the swim bait is just demolished. This. Watch this. Open it a little bit. Look at those teeth. <laughs> Yikes. Swallowed that swim bait. There you go. That looks cool. Nice. There you go, bud. Yeah. Go to the down. Okay guys, so this is my uh, second wally of the trip. This is, this is how you usually hold them, right? Yeah, right like that. Yeah, yeah just like this. Um, anyway, epic. <laughs> Another, show, just showcasing some more northern fish species. Just look at those teeth, man. They're such creepy fish. <laughs> Makes his dorsals pop. How do you usually put them back? Like that? Spence is so used. To, Spence is so used to releasing those guys into the live well, or the dead well, because they're such good eating. Only 30, only 30 inches are, are the. 31's going to the live well. 31's going to the live well. That's what Spence just said. I don't agree with that. I think that's wrong. I, I think Spencer needs to stop keeping the big trophy ones. <laughs> kind of this this video is kind of coming unhinged right now. Day three classic. Oh yes, this is it. This is the one. Yes, ha! Ah! That is what you call a very small, small mouth. That is what you also call does not make the cut. See ya. Enormous. Biggest of the entire trip right here. It's actually pretty good. It's not a monster, but I'll take it. I will take it. Bit so lazy like like those big ones said you said they did.
Just goofy. This guy's been caught before too. Yes, that's so crazy. Seriously? That was really dope. You definitely use this as a clothing fish. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's such a nice one. Wow. What is that? Three pounder number freaking six for the day? Seven? Something like that, anyway. I'm, you, do you mind? And there you have it. That is the last fish of the day. Spencer coming in clutch with a freaking three pound, like a three pounder. Like this is our fifth or sixth or seventh or something like that. Like how is this even possible? This place is absolutely unreal. All right, I'm gonna toss her back. You wanna yeah. give her a little kiss? I'm good. Hey, wave goodbye. I only kiss seven See pounders. you, Spencer. See you, dude. Thanks, man. See you, dude. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a freaking beast of a fish. There you have it, two days straight of fishing for one of my favorite fish of all time, that being the smallest bass, with one of my favorite guides ever, Spencer Samplowski from Big Bite Adventures. Again, if you haven't checked out his guide service or want to book a trip or want to catch a smallmouth, a walleye, uh, an Atlantic goby, whatever, just drop down in the, in the description and uh, give Spencer a ring, call him. Be sure to call him, don't, don't DM him, he no, loves it. No, don't call when... me. <laughs> I don't answer my phone. His, Voicemail is literally full. Your voicemail box, you know that? It's it's full. It's been full for two years. <laughs> so anyway, we're heading out of here. Awesome memories and some awesome catches. I hope to come back here probably in the summertime, right? Yeah. We're gonna do another small or some some sort we'll of species. Some, uh, some salmon, some, some cool. smallies, some carp. Some we're, gonna, we're gonna do yeah. something cool this summer. We're We've actually carp. got a really cool species we're gonna target that could be epic on the fly. So stay tuned for that. We're peacing out. Thanks for watching. We got a long road head. We got a long road head. Road head. We got a long road. <laughs> we have a long road ahead of us. We got a big journey heading back from Wisconsin to Chicago, then Chicago to Dallas, all in less than 24 hours. So we're gonna cut the video short here. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I appreciate the view. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.